Welcome back. The High Court in Christchurch has been told friends of murder-accused Clayton Weatherston called Sophie Elliott his psycho girlfriend. Just days after killing her, he wrote a letter saying she was a horrible person. Lisa Davies has the latest. An ex-girlfriend reading from a letter Clayton Weatherston wrote her from prison. I am also sorry that such a horrible person has been glorified in the media. That is our society. Uh, sad face. He's talking about Sophie Elliott. The letter dated just five days after he stabbed the 22-year-old to death. His ex-girlfriend also told the jury about Clayton Weatherson's desire to keep his public image solid and controlled and that he was obsessed with his appearance, that he spent a lot of money on clothes and spent more time looking in the mirror than she did. He spent a large uh, amount of money on clothes. I think he probably outdid me by a fair margin. In other evidence, the jury heard the nickname Weatherston's friends had for Sophie Elliott. Sophie was called the psycho girlfriend. In a long conversation the day before the killing, he talked of Sophie being controlling and shared a list of criticisms. He asked me if he should be tested for an STD because he had said that Sophie had slept with another man um, in Australia. He thought she had a borderline personality disorder. Yes, he actually said that a few times during the conversation. The witness had only met Sophie once at Weatherston's graduation party a few weeks before. She told the defence Sophie had seemed possessive and jealous. It was almost as if she was bad-mouthing him at his own party. Yes. The defence case that Weatherston's turbulent relationship with Sophie Elliott provoked him into killing her. That her death was an act of manslaughter, not murder. Lisa Davies, One News.